Hello, my name is Gonzalo Ruiz, and today we're gonna I'm gonna explain how to you encrypt files using GPG Suite on a MacBook. To start off with, I would like to explain a couple terms. PGP means pretty good privacy, and then there's two different types of encryption I would like to clarify on. Uh, symmetric encryption is based on using the same key for both encrypting and decrypting. So for example, if John and Sarah had um, want to exchange emails, they would use the same, the same key to encrypt and decrypt the data. On the other hand, public key encryption, which is also known as asymmetric encryption, uses two different keys to encrypt, encrypt and decrypt data. The key used for encryption is the public key and the key used for the uh, decrypting is uh, the private key. So now we're going to go ahead and start learning how to encrypt data on a MacBook using GPG Suite. So we're going to start by going into the link GPG Suite which is uh which has this link gpgtools.org and um a prompt will come up to download the program and i already have it downloaded on my desktop and i don't need to download it again but it will take like five minutes to get it on your laptop so you would click there and then this would show up on your desktop I already have it here so I, all I have to do is click on it and it will give me the option to install. Now when we install it a prompt will come up and it will explain all the things that include are included I mean in the GPG suite. In this case I'm not going to be using the GPG mail because I'm going to be using files on my desktop to that are going to be encrypted and then decrypted. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and click continue we agree on the license so we agree on it here I'm gonna customize my install because I don't want to use the GPG mail so I'm gonna hit the customize button down there and then go up here and unclick GPG mail and go ahead and install it's gonna ask for your password and in a couple seconds, it should be done. Boom, done. So now we close this. I'm going to keep it just in case I want to uninstall. And we're going to set up a um, random name. John, John Snow. And his email is John Snow at yahoo.com I'm gonna use an easy password to just get through this fast but the most um, what I recommend the most is using a password which has a lot of different um, caps uh, lowercase letters numbers and signs different like exclamation marks or question marks all kinds of things so it's harder to to uh, know the password and crack it but I'm gonna go ahead and use an easy one just to get through this as fast as we can so my password is gonna be password and here and you if you check advanced options it tells you the type of security of uh, encryption it's gonna have and the length is going to be it's going to be of 4096 bits which is the highest you have the highest option which makes it the most complicated out of the, out of the three and uh, I'm going to generate a key use simple password so now it should be creating the key for me and there we go I'm gonna say no thanks to that because right now I'm gonna 
show you the public key. I'm gonna go ahead and copy, copy the, the public key. I'm gonna open a text edit just so we can paste it. New document. And here we can see what our public key looks like. It's all of this, all right? This is all of our public key. And I'm going to go ahead and save this in my desktop as public. So now we're going to go ahead and create a new file where I'm going to write a test file to encrypt and decrypt. For example, I'm going to go ahead and write test. Uh, my name is Gonzalo Ruiz. Um, comma, I am a foreign student in a computer security security class. Class. So now we're, I'm going to go ahead and save this onto my desktop as test. And here I'm going to go ahead and close this, close this, and I'm going to move this a little bit to the side. And here we have the test file that we open up and it's clearly what I, I just wrote. But, uh, if we want to encrypt it, we'll uh, right click on it and we'll go to services and we'll say open PGP encrypt file. So it's going to go ahead and encrypt with password. I'm going to click John Snow because it's the recipient that I want. And OK, we should be ready. Encrypt. Enter passphrase, password, password, encryption finished. Okay, so this right here is the encrypted file. And if we want to see what it's got inside right now, we can right click on it, open, open it with. Um, with a text edit. So we'll go to text edit right here and open it. And we'll, oh, this is not what I wanted, but this is what I wanted. And here we go. This is all the, the file that I just wrote. It's encrypted. And we're going to go ahead and decrypt it now. So to decrypt it, you just double click on it. This is not what I want. Uh, decrypt it, ultimate trust. Okay, so here is the new file decrypted. If you can see, it's a different file from the one I already had because the, the one I have is right here as test, and then this was opened up as test2. So we just learned how to encrypt and decrypt um, data on, um, on a MacBook using GPG Suite. Thank you for listening and I hope this tutorial was uh, helpful enough for you to understand how this procedure works. It's nothing too complicated, but good luck and have fun.